Okay, in the previous example, we had a 50 degrees here, and so now I change it to 25 degrees, and we're going to see if this allows us to have a solution. So we're going to do the same problem, except we'll do it with 25 degrees. Okay, so now we're going to set up a known ratio. We're going to do sine 25 degrees over 1. That's our given ratio is going to equal... We, have to, we only have enough information to solve for A because we have big B and B here. That's not enough information to solve for it, so we need to attempt to solve for A first. So we're going to do sine of A over 2. Next, we're going to do cross multiplying. We're going to do sine of A equals 2 sine of 25. Okay, And if we do this, 2 sine 25, that's sine A equals 0.8452 with some more decimals. This is definitely going to give us a solution because this number is between negative 1 and 1. So unlike the last example, this actually will allow us to, to get an answer. So we're going to use our calculator. We're going to take the inverse of both sides there. Your A is the inverse of this decimal. And if you put that in the calculator, you're going to get 57.7 degrees. That's going to be your first answer for measurement of angle A. That's going to go right here, 57.7. Now, we, have, we want to also solve for a B, so we're going to do 180 minus the two angles that are already in the triangle, minus 25 minus 57.7 degrees. And if we do that, then we're going to get 97.3 left over on the inside there, so that's going to be this angle, 97.3 uh, degrees. So we have the two angles that are found, and now we have enough information to solve for B. You've got to find an angle opposite of B. Now we can do another ratio to set that up. So we're going to do now sine 25 uh, over 1 is going to equal sine of 97.3 uh, over B. And now we're going to once again do some cross-multiplying here on that. Uh, and you're going to get B sine 25 will equal sine 97.3 and just divide. And we get sine 97.3 divided by sine 25. If you put that into the calculator, then you're going to get 2.35. And that right there is going to be the answer for uh, B. So again, you can verify by putting that into the calculator, but that's what you should get, 2.35. So I've done all the, the calculations. I've done all this mathematically by using law of sines. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw this picture to show you physically what's actually happening here. So again, we already did that with the 50 degrees, and we showed by the picture that it's not possible to draw that. But now what we're going to do is we're going to recreate that here and show that it is physically possible uh, to draw that. So once again, I want to draw an accurate 25 degree line. So I'm going to go ahead and start that out right here. And I'm going to draw in... Uh, 25 degrees. 25 degrees is actually smaller than you would think for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and put that uh, right here. And by drawing that out, I would get 25 degrees would go about right there. And then we're going to connect it. Again, one ruler length represents one unit. We have two units here. So I need to draw in two of these ruler lengths. So here is, here is one, one ruler length. And then I'm going to continue that out over here and draw one more. And this now, this whole length now is going to be 2, and this right here is 25 degrees. So actually, it's a little bit smaller than you might think. Now, I need to connect this out here, so I'm going to draw this line and continue this out in that direction, take it all the way out to here. And I need to now connect the last side. So here, right here, is my, my ruler length. And you can see here that definitely that will connect. If I draw this line down, it does connect all the way down to here. And we can see, verify that that is going to be a 1 right there. So this is actually the triangle that I already have drawn there already with these angles. 97.3, 57 degrees there is drawn out that way. But I want you to notice something here. Yeah, we could draw a line going out this way, but look what also happens. We can actually take that line and we can draw it this way too. That's still going to be 25 degrees, a ruler length of 2, and this is still a ruler length of 1. So notice that right here, what I can do is I can actually draw in another line just like this, and this is also equal to 1. So on these kind of problems, you actually could have two possible solutions. So you could either have one solution, two solutions, 
or no solutions at all. And that's what I have here. So this one, uh, because of this, I've already done the triangle out this way that's drawn like that. What I need to do now is I have to actually do the whole problem again with another triangle because I actually have two different possibilities. So this is actually going to be two solutions. So what I found here was actually only the, uh, the first solution. I want to actually do this again for a secondary solution. So I'm going to redraw my triangle now and I'm going to redraw it to make it look like this. So I have a triangle now that's going to look like that. I have 25 degrees here. This is still, uh, this will be two here. This is one there, and now it's going to be moved in instead. Okay, so this is going to be angle A there. This is B, and uh, this is C right here. Okay, so now I'm going to do the, the triangle over again, and I want to do that by finding my new secondary solution. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Now that we see that there is going to be three solutions. So I'm going to go ahead and add this now, A2. I have uh, B2, and I have... Uh, another B2 right here. So the question is, well, how do we get another solution? Because our calculator only gave us one solution. All right, well, this is going to take us back to originally we had this. We had uh, that my A originally was, my A1 was equal to 57.7. I actually got that. Let me go, to go back one more step. I actually got that A is equal to, sine of A is equal to, 0.8452 initially. We, had, we did this originally with our work with some more decimals. Uh, that was 2 sine 25. Now, we did the inverse in the calculator. The first inverse gave us 57.7 degrees and we got that. Now, the question is how do we get a second solution out of this? Well, let's take a look at our unit circle. In a previous session, we talked about when you draw unit circles here that you get one answer in the first quadrant. That's what the calculator gave. But we have to think about well, where else is sine positive. And if you look at all students take calculus, all students means that sine is actually positive also in the second quadrant, which means that this is also going to be 57.7 degrees here. So because of that, whenever you take the inverse of something, you should always actually automatically find the secondary solution. So when I find that, my A2 right here in this quadrant, that's 180 minus 57.7. So I want to do that. So I'm going to draw that down here. That's going to be 180 minus 57.7 degrees. That's, that's how we want to find the secondary answer, again, by subtracting that to get that measured from the positive x-axis. So, so this is going to give us now uh, the A2, which is 122.3. That's actually now this angle right here. That would make sense that that's got to be more than 100 degrees because that side that was normally here got swung inside there, and we got that. So here's our other secondary solution, 122. So every time you do this, you should always subtract that first answer the calculator gives, subtract from 180, that's going to give you the second answer. Now that we have this, we can again uh, find measurement of angle B by doing uh, 180 minus 122.3 minus 25. And if we do that, that's going to give you the secondary answer for B2, which is going to be 32.7 degrees. Now that we have these two, the last thing you're going to do, since this is 32.7 right here, is you're going to now use that in order to find uh, the missing side. So we have to actually use the 32.7 in order to find B down there. So we're going to do our known ratio. We're going to start with sine 25 over 1, uh, as we did before. But now we're going to do sine of 32.7 degrees uh, over side B that we're trying to so solve for. In this case, it's actually going to be B2. And now we're going to cross multiply once again. Now if you solve for that, your B2 is going to be uh, sine of 32.7 divided by uh, sine of 25. And if you put that into the calculator, we're going to get uh, a smaller answer for this. We get 1.28 uh, on that one. And 1.28 is going to be the smaller answer. Now that makes sense that your answer should be smaller because originally the side was swung out like this and now we swung it in like that. That makes sense why you should have a smaller side there. So 1.28 is the answer. So this problem actually had uh, two different solutions, and we got that by seeing that physically drawing it, you could draw the triangle two different ways. So that, that's why it makes sense that we should have two sets of answers.